Well, MJ the musical kicked off at the San Diego Civic Theater last night, and if you didn't catch it, don't worry, there is still time. And joining us in studio to talk more about what you can expect to see is the star of the show, Roman Banks, who plays Michael Jackson in the musical. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining us in the Fox 5 studios. Mm -hmm. We are so happy to have you. In Thank fact, you. we were just joking about Raul Martinez, <laughs> our morning anchor. He is so upset because he saw the show last night. He wanted to talk to you today. But ah, we send him our love. To, we yeah, send him our love. We do send him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's start with the opening night. How was it? How was the crowd? Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, you know, I really like our theater, or the theater you all have here. I think the sound is really beautiful, and the um, the infrastructure is really beautiful, and I, the way the crowd sits, it's almost like on a ramp, and so we get to see a lot more faces than, you know, we're used to seeing, or at least for me, when I'm kind of like looking out to see, like, you know, who's in the audience, and I mean, the energy was incredible. Um, it's always a little, you know, um, interesting being on tour, because you never know what the energy of a city is going to be like, and how they feel about a show, and so, you know, it's always like that one moment when you hit the pose and you're like, what's it going to be? And, and they received us so warmly the entire time. San Diego loves, loves Michael Jackson, but they love the musical. Mm. And, and we love our theater and our music productions. So uh, it's such a big deal here. But for you, um, what an honor. I mean, he's the king of pop. Yeah. You know, still. I mean, still <laughs> the king of pop. Uh, yeah. One of the best entertainers ever. Yeah. Um, what does it feel like to play him? You know, I, I, I have a lot of gratitude. At, at this point, I just feel like a vessel, you know. Similarly to like what you were saying, you know, when you were talking about growing up in the 70s and seeing the Jackson 5 and then, you know, Thriller coming out in the 80s and his career progressing through the 90s with Bad and Dangerous. Um, you're, you're like a multi-generational vessel because like you have these people who grew up with him, some people went to go see him. You know, some people had interactions with him, lived with him. I've met many friends and family members of him. But then you have the fans, you know, who come of all different ages and sizes and backgrounds, you know, as, as little as four and five years old, you know, to all the way up to, I mean, I'm sure we've had people who are probably in their 70s and 80s come to see our show. So you're giving all of these different generations singular experiences and taking them either back or taking them to a place they've never been before. I, I mean, his influence is undeniable, really, at this point. Um, talk a little bit about what this is about, and, and there are a lot of moving parts in this show. Yeah. Uh, wh how is it for you guys up there in the stages? I mean, you, you never know when you go from city to city. Yeah, I mean, it's so much fun. You know, I, I, we, I love my cast. Like, they're so beautiful. They bring so much joy and hard work to the space every single day and so it's it's lovely to interact with them and you know try to give our best every single night especially in these changing environments we just came from um, Salt Lake City with like such a drastic change in elevation and so we could hardly breathe the first two days and you know but we go through it as a unit you know and we confide in each other and it's nice to be at sea level again and you know, have a good, you know, we're showing some time. of the video actually from yeah. the musical. It shows just like you said, different stages of his life and his performing career. Absolutely. Um, and that's really what it's about. What are your favorite parts of it? It changes every single night. It depends on where I'm at as a as this Roman. You know, I think last night, keep the faith, which almost never happens, is one of my favorite numbers, just because I was able to really like. I think I was going through a, sometimes the show kind of reminds me to, to keep the faith in my own life, and so I was sort of dealing with my own uh, situation, and you know, I was like, wait, no, I need to keep the faith for what I'm going through, and, and being able to channel that power with the belief that all Michael accomplished, you know, started with him, and progressed all throughout his life on all the barriers and records he broke, not only for himself, but that paved the way for so many other artists. Um, channeling that, you know, as Roman and as Michael, and also spreading that message not only to my cast but to everybody watching. You know, you never know how your art is going to land on people on any giving day. Well, there are a few more shows, and there are still tickets left. Yeah, we're right? here for a week, so That's get them right. quick. Playing through March 10th. Uh, the show tonight is at 7. Yeah. Um, but tickets are available online, and we do have a link to that on our website, fox5sandiego.com. We definitely want them to come in. Yeah, please. Um, thank you for joining us here thank you for at having Fox me. 5. We appreciate you and your talent so much. Thank you. Uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. I sure will. All right. <laughs> have a good